Mm, very green. Mm-hmm. Mm, waterfall. Uh, rocks, rocks, uh, rocks, um, stones to sit on. Mm-hmm. Beautiful waterfall. Birds. Mm, the sun, the horizon. As you look at this place, do you feel that you have a body? Look around. Mm. How are you observing this place? This place with all of these rocks. Mm. I, I don't see me. Mm. I just see the place. Very good. So if you're just consciousness, we can now explore this place. What does this place feel like? Mm. Tranquility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loving. Free. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what this place is. I'd like for you now to see yourself zooming out even more. Let's find out more about this place. And some dirt paths. Mm -hmm. Dirt paths. That lead to that lead to the fountain. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a fountain, it's a waterfall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why I call it a fountain. Um hmm, it's like a waterfall and a fountain. Mm hmm I don't want you to question it. The first thing that pops into your mind, let's go with. So what do you feel that comes from this waterfall slash fountain? Mm, life. Mm -hmm. it's, it's life. It's life. Mm -hmm. uh, creatures come like animals uh, and things, uh, what we would call insects. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they come to be together uh, in an understanding of each other mm -hmm. and and live in life. Uh, it's like a life force. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you're in this place? It feels good. Mm -hmm. And what do you come to this place for? It's my place of peace. Mm -hmm. And how are you compared to these other creatures? How do you see yourself? Uh, I don't see myself. Mm -hmm. um, so what is your role there? What do you do? I just enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to just Soak in all of that. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. there's, there's flowers, there's moss. It's just everything in harmony. It's mm -hmm. harmony. Oh, I miss, I miss this place, man. I miss this place so much. I miss it. I miss it. Soak it all in. Know that you're there. And as you sleep, go even deeper into the role that you play in this place. You'll know what you do there. Well, I don't see me, but I can feel me. Mm-hmm. Um, I can feel like uh, diving, not diving, uh, jumping, mm -hmm. jumping into the water. Mm -hmm. I can feel the water all around me. I can breathe on the water, mm -hmm. but I can't see myself. Um, but I can also fly. Uh, I don't feel wings, but I can like, like I, 
I jump into the water and then I soar out of the water into mm-hmm. the sky. Mm-hmm. Um, and where do you go to? Let's find out where you go. Let's take me on this adventure. Describe everything you do as you have fun. Well, I soar in and out of the water a lot. Mm-hmm. And the little animal 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 I guess animals they uh, I talk to them they talk to me mm-hmm. uh, and then I soar and I fly I, I just enjoy um, part of the sky is blue mm-hmm. like a, a, a light blue like a whitish blue mm-hmm but then if you go, like if you go above the waterfall, it, uh, but the water, the water comes like out of rocks, it comes out of rocks and then it pours down. Mm. Um, so some of it trickles down and then some of it pours down like a waterfall mm-hmm. and the, the sky above that the, the, is blue, white whitish blue bluish white and Mm -hmm. then but to the right if you move away from the waterfall it's like gold not gold and like um like like the way it looks like when the sunset is here Mm it's like a brownish golden you know what i think there's two suns Mm. I think there, I think there might be a sun over the waterfall. Like I don't see the sun, but or suns, but it's like two different, totally different in the same place. So like, one looks like the blue sky of the day, and the other one looks like a be- like like a sunset you might see if you were in Arizona. Mm-hmm. So I think there may be two. I think there might be two suns, and I think there might be two moons, mm-hmm. but they're not. They're they're in harmony. They're in everything's in harmony. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I don't see any other. I want to call people, but I don't know what I don't know what we are. But I don't see anybody else. This um this might just be mine. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Let's see where you go. I see some like these spear things. Mm-hmm. What are these spear things? Uh, I they wow, it's so weird. Uh, it helps pe- It help uh, helps us hunt. They're mm-hmm. not people. I don't know. I don't know. They're not like human people, mm-hmm. but they're people. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? I can't really tell. It's a more like a feeling. Mm-hmm. Use all of your senses. You don't need to see. You just know. There's like these huts. Uh, kind of like huts. Mm-hmm. Um, some are bigger. Some are smaller. I see. Oh, man, I can't really make them out. But they're like kids. I don't. Hmm. They, they kind of look humanoidish. Mm-hmm. But they're not humanoid humans um and their kids run around they're like the kids are playing um the spears they're just like in the ground but they're sticking up i i guess we use them for food to hunt i guess Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not harm like even in it's almost like it's almost like indian like native americans almost Mm -hmm. like the skin is like a darker skin like kind of like Native American skin. Um, what about the features? Uh, well, there's some feet mm-hmm. that, like, they're kind of like, you know what? They look like they're humans, but they're not. They're like the feet are bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I see some big feet. I don't see who's connected to. It. It's not my feet, but my feet right now start to. They feel bigger. They feel heavier. Mm-hmm. They didn't in the water. I felt, I felt, um, wow, I felt really uh, sleek mm-hmm. when I was in the water and flying. But now, I, uh, 
that my feet feel heavy on the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if this is the same place, actually. I don't know. Anyway, there's these hut, like straw hut things. How many do you mud. see? Um, a lot. It's like a village. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's kids. Uh, but and there's 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 those spear things, like the not really like arrows at the top, but like kind of like arrows at the top, and the the bottom is stuck in the ground. So it's like you. You pull them out of the ground when you're gonna go use them. Like, like it's communal. Nobody owns. We all own everything. Even though you might have like your designated hut, you go to a lot. It's all. It's everyone's. And when you kill something for food, you. It's all in harmony. It's all loving. The the food is giving itself um, to be. Uh, kind of like sacrifice mm-hmm. for the good of everything and we use every part we use every part we use every part um yeah now as you're standing there with those heavy feet do you feel like these are male or female feet mm, kind of like male mm-hmm and oh, uh, now this is, this is so crazy. So my um, my calves look are thick, almost like uh, you know um, you know the rock guy in the Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Not qu- quite as rocky, but they're they're thick, um, thick calves. Like we're thick, we're. Th- we're thick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's weird, wild, that's crazy. Take a look at your hands. Yeah, they're thick. They're like big. They're like mitts. Not well. I'm exaggerating. Not like a baseball mitt, but it. They're like big. Mm-hmm. Like someone would say, that's a mitt. It's mm-hmm. big, they're big. They're puffy, big and puffy. So like the feet are big and puffy. The calves are big and puffy. And actually, you know what? We're we're taller than here. We're taller than here. Mm-hmm. So. It's like, I mean, I think there's there's just like five or six toes. I can't quite tell if it's six. So it's like humans, but thicker. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. What do your facial features look like? Hmm, I, don't, well, I don't know about mine, but I see somebody's hair. I see someone else's hair. So the hair is different colors, like mm-hmm. orange. Some people, some like, some have a mixture of orange and black and brown and yellow. Some are just yellow. Some are just, uh, they're, they're, all, they're all differ. Mm-hmm. They're all di- and the faces are puffy. The heads are kind of big, not huge, but I mean, it's all proportional, you know, mm-hmm. but everything's bigger. Um, we're, we're tall, we're tall, but, um, but, it's weird. It's like we're big and tall, but we're like stout. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, we're like we're not like proportional like a human. Like mm-hmm. yeah, it's like yeah, we're stout. Uh, we're stout, but we're like I don't know. We're like twelve feet tall, mm-hmm. but we're stout. Yes. So let's see what happens in a typical day in that lifetime. I'm going to have you close that scene and let's see you doing what you normally do on a typical day there in that lifetime. Be there now. I don't know. I saw cooking, but I'm not cooking. I guess I'm eating. I think Mm -hmm. I'm eating. Let's see what you're eating. Take a look down and see. Mm, I I see some... uh, hmm. So I'm eating with my hands. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, eat, hmm, eating off something, it, it's almost like stone, but it's not. Um, and hmm, it's like it's some kind of flesh, but it's not. Hmm, it's different than the flesh we have here. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? Uh, hmm. It's like reddish. It's like reddish. Uh, it's t- 
you you got to bite it and pull on it, mm-hmm. but it's still tender. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's this the flesh of an animal. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Somebody cooked it. All right. So I want you to stop right there and see the picture in your mind of what kind of animal that is. What does it look like when it's alive? It's kind of, kind of like an ostrich, but not. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's got these floppy feet, and it, and it like when it runs, it like hops. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like a big ostrich. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. And now that you understand what you're eating, what else is around you? Are you by yourself or are there others there? Mm, I'm inside a hut and it feels like uh, uh, like a fire, like, like something warm, keeping us warm. Mm-hmm. I don't like to be cold. Um, Does it get cold there? Uh... No, nah, uh, yeah, but not like not like freezing. Mm-hmm. But I just don't like to be cold. Mm-hmm. But it's not tropical, mm-hmm. even though the waterfall. No, it's not tropical. I don't know what you call it. Um, mm-hmm. the waterfall is like a almost like a like a beautiful thing you you'd see in the woods kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's more lush. It's vibrant, like. Some of the colors are green and brown, and then there's these colors I can't describe. They're like um, they're like rainbow on on steroids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the hmm. but the brown the the part of the ground is brown, mm-hmm. almost like like the color of dirt, but it's not dusty like dirt. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's and it it's hard, but not like rocks. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll hold you. Like you don't have to worry about falling or or um, sinking. But it's it's ma- it's all not malleable, but it feels it's very soft, mm-hmm. um, comfortable, comfortable soft. Not like not like a marshmallow. You sink soft. It's just mm-hmm. very comfortable on the feet. There's no shoes. Do you have any any clothing on? Yeah. Uh, what keeps it's, you warm? It's a covering. Uh, the fire. Mm-hmm. The fire. But when you're just walking around, is there anything that keeps your body warm? Mm, there's like this. I don't know what you call it. It's like a like a tunic mm-hmm. thing. Um, is it long or short? No, you can see everybody's uh, thighs. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it, it's. It's not like underwear, mm-hmm. um, uh, and it's not like pants. It's like you know, like a skirt kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and the st- but the top is like a, a tank, th- like you know, straps like a tank top thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and it looks like everybody's wearing the same mm-hmm. male thing. and female. Yeah. Is it any particular color? Mm, no, it's like I know, like topish brown Mm -hmm. it actually looks kind of like our skin Mm -hmm. i mean it's not our not not the not the texture of the skin um but it's like the same color kind of like there's not it don't like it it almost like you can't really distinguish it Mm -hmm. very good so now let's close that scene and let's go to another important scene in that same lifetime something that impacted your life be there now Well, I know there's a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, we're together. I don't know if we're married. We're together. She makes me happy. I make her happy. Mm-hmm. And I just see as like, um, like, uh, like leaning against each other in a loving way. Mm-hmm. So now let's find out what's important about this scene. What's going on there? Uh, well, we're just loving. Mm-hmm. So that's how, like, um, so like touch, like leaning against is showing, um, like 
or not showing, it's experiencing uh, like an exchange of love, exchange of energy, exchange of, um, y you know what, we're like, we're like sitting in a light, like it, like a life force thing. Mm -hmm. it, it ignites our own life force. It ignites the connection between us and it ignites the connection to everyone else. So the love, um, that, that act of loving, uh, uh, it, it extends, um, it extends our existence and it extends the existence of everyone else. Mm -hmm. So it is like a set time when like, like, um, there's no clocks, mm -hmm. um, but, uh, there's like a, a time after dinner that this is what you do. Mm -hmm. And just, you just want feel that love. Yeah. It's like you're bathing in love. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's a nice place. This place is a nice place. Now, this energy force, do you create it? No, it just is. Mm -hmm. It's in, it's, it's, it, it, I mean, it's in us, it's around us, but, mm -hmm. um, it's like, uh, wow, this is so wild. This is like, um, it's always there, right? But, uh, th so, so the community, set a time it's not time but i'm going to use time mm -hmm. set a time to do this mm -hmm. so that there's like an aware a conscious awareness of it and the enjoyment mm -hmm. of it and and more importantly so that we don't um we don't uh forget like it because it, it doesn't just extend to us it extends um uh kind of like forward and backwards mm -hmm. so like the the more so as not the more we do it as we do it it like affects like like seven generations forward seven generations back hmm. so um and if you if you you don't have to actually just do that you can just be in it but but the practice of doing it helps to stay um helps us to continue doing it and stay connected to it and helps us to uh you know uh uh yeah it go go out and back go mm -hmm. go out and back if we stop right mm -hmm. then Back stops and forward stops. Hmm. It just stops. For both involved? No, for 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 everyone. For, yeah, for the community, for everything. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, it's like all connected. So what if you don't have any other a partner to love? How can you use this energy force of love? Uh you can just sit in it. Mm -hmm. You can you can bathe in it. Mm. This is so crazy. <laughs> um you can you can bathe in it alone. You don't actually even have to do anything. It's just there. But if but there's that awareness of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, if you don't, it, it, well, no, the 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 it was decided. I don't know when and whom, but it was decided that the practice was important so that people don't forget. They don't ignore it and it because if you ignore it it goes away and it's kind of like the fabric like it it kind of um god i can't explain this um it 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 if the if you if there's no awareness of it it will shrivel up and disappear so to keep the awareness active there is a time set to do it others you I mean you can do it at any time you don't even have to stop you can be doing something else and be aware but it is literally the practice of awareness of this 
this um because it's not just the love it's really like a, it's a, like a connection um yeah it's like i don't know, it's like a connection with the past and the in the forward very good yeah i don't i don't i don't know if i'm making any sense all right so let's find out some more about your life let's close that scene and now let's move to another place and time in that same lifetime that has impacted you. Be there now. There's uh, like a party. Mm -hmm. um, a celebration, a party. There's uh, like dancing. It's a big fire and there's dancing. Um, and we've greeted others. They kind of look like us too, but mm -hmm. they're they're not us. I don't. Um, Where do they come from? The other side of the planet. Mm -hmm. um, they they look similar. Um, yeah, actually, it's it's hard to distinguish the difference. Like there's slight difference in the facial features. Like the noses are a little wider. Mm -hmm. Um, and a little, uh, not, they don't protrude as much. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very slight differences, but, um, uh, in the forehead, it's a little, the forehead juts out, their foreheads jut out a little more. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're just, um, we're, we're celebrating cause so, so like that love I was talking about before, which, um, like it, that life force, that love life force, it connects us with our, um, it, it allows everything from the past and the forward to keep progressing. But like we have a different kind of life force than they do. So we come together and celebrate. And that celebration kind of unites the life forces. Mm. And it's, it's fun. There's like uh, music, like banging on stuff mm -hmm. is music different things there's like clanking and uh there's dancing stomping stomping is like dancing mm -hmm. and there's big fire and it's fun and there's laughter lots of smiles yeah it's, it's nice it's nice and, and everyone is at peace yeah it's, a, yeah, it's just the peaceful, it's peaceful. Very good. yeah no fighting yeah like i said the the like you you don't you're not really like chasing the animal to kill it it's like it gives itself mm -hmm. like everything everything is symbiotic mm -hmm. wonderful so let's close that scene now and let's go to where you're older and something is happening that's important be there now uh, hmm. well i have like some kind of pipe thing mm -hmm. Uh, it's kind of small and I'm sitting and I'm telling stories to young young people and they're laughing and I'm sharing stories I'm telling um, some stories I'm making up mm -hmm. so that they laugh mm -hmm. uh, but the this you know there's stories that connect them with the understanding of their 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 past and future mm -hmm. like that they understand who they are and there are stories that help to maintain you know the transit the not transitions the um the traditions the mm -hmm. traditions of tranquility now when you're doing this is that life love force there too or is this a different mm. type no you know it's it's uh more subtle because the focus isn't on it mm -hmm. but it's it's always there okay but but um but the f the intention and the focus is uh to instill uh an understanding of the culture so the so the, there's not that focusing on the love force right mm -hmm. now so what role do you play Mm -hmm. I think I'm like the the like the wise man, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like like 
the old wise the old mm-hmm. wise guy <laughs> mm-hmm. no no but but no it's important i'm 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 actually important mm-hmm. um i'm i'm not uh, not like a chief like i'm uh, yeah i'm like the i'm like the wi- the wisdomer mm-hmm. the wisdomer are you like a, the elder there the wise elder uh yeah i mean there's different elders that uh are responsible for different um tasks and information mm-hmm. um but i'm like i'm like the knower mm-hmm. good like the knower of like all good good do they give you a name in that place I'm the knower of all. The knower of all. Very good. So now, let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Let's close this scene. And let's go to the last day. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you are. I'm in my hut thing. Mm -hmm. My beloved is there. I have a leaf on my head that has flowers, Mm -hmm. daisies that were picked from the fountain and waterfall that I love. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of the wreath? It's a part of that place I love. Mm -hmm. Uh, And drop uh, water was taken from the pond that the fountain and waterfall create and droplets were placed along my forehead and my chest Mm -hmm. and I'm getting ready to bid adieu there's just love too like it's just yeah it's just the last moments shared of the life force Mm -hmm. and then I know as I go I become one with the life force. Yeah. So allow yourself now to take that last breath, releasing from that body, and tell me what happens to your soul as you become one with that life force. Hmm. Describe it. I'm not anywhere. I'm just, I'm, I'm there. I'm like, I don't know. It's just dark. Mm-hmm. I'm just, yeah. And in that darkness, you'll have a knowing. Where do you know that you need to go next? Uh, I don't know. I'm just waiting here. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting. To allow yourself just the tranquility of that peace of being one the all feel the sense of peace of knowing and as you look back at that life that you just left every life has a purpose every life has a lesson what do you imagine this place and this purpose is all about their purpose was to understand that um, that that trend, that that existence mm-hmm. it can is and no matter where can be tranquil and harmony and And that there's just always love, Mm -hmm. like always, like always, always. And no, in in every, not in uh, every, like uh, no matter what you do, it's just there. And like you could feel it there, like you just could feel it. Like it wasn't a stretch. Mm -hmm. You just. Just um, it was just a part. It was a part, and you felt it. So there was never, yeah, you never felt separate from it. Mm-hmm. Never. So, if she, 
The soul never felt separate. Why did the soul choose to feel separate? <sighs> so this this soul heard the call. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that call. Take her to that moment where this soul heard the call. And what was the call? So, myself and others mm -hmm. Um, yeah, this, this is so my I'm trying to allow myself to say mm -hmm. um, okay so um, uh, a council of masters mm -hmm. right I'm, I'm on I sit on a council of masters and um, uh, the, the uh, a call a vibration a vibration was felt from Gaia's sister. Gaia has a sister. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that sister. Um, I don't know the sister's name. Mm -hmm. I don't know the sister's name. Um, but uh, it's not a twin sister, mm -hmm. but it's a sister. So it's a sister planet in um, what one might call a different solar system. Mm -hmm. This is so crazy because I've never ever thought this before. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so um, and so she too is a planet. It's a she. Mm -hmm. I don't know her name. Uh, Ag Agatha, a a not Agatha. Um, something like Agatha, but it's not Agatha. You'll know the name once you start talking more about it. Um, uh, um, lots of greenery. Mm -hmm. Lots of greenery. Um, uh creatures live on the planet they're not humans there's no like cities it's very lush it's lush lush and rich mm -hmm. um uh the creatures different creatures a lot of colors a lot of colors um so she, even though she's not a twin she's very connected to gaia so I don't know if she just felt Gaia needed help or if Gaia told her that part I don't know mm -hmm. but we got the vibration from her mm -hmm. and it was saying you know her her, her sister um, is uh, shifting but she needs assistance to shift um, just like she needed assistance in the past to mm -hmm. shift. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but this time she wanted to shift and not get rid of, uh, when I get rid of is not the right term. Um, she didn't, she didn't want to stop the existence of those that lived on the surface. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and and she could not do that alone. So, um, you know, there was a call for volunteer to help. Mm -hmm. And no one asked me to help. You know, the, the council didn't say, you must go help. I felt I needed to help. So um, I said, I will, I will go. Some others of us said yes, too, said, you know, um, I, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said I would, and and there was already we already had a knowing of um, the current state of Gaia, mm -hmm. which was what? Um, well, turmoil. Not not no not turmoil within Gaia. Gaia's Gaia's fine. Mm -hmm. Like Gaia's fine. Like Gaia is. Um, at peace with with her um, her journey, um, so it's kind of interesting, right? Like we think, right? We humans think, oh, we're like polluting Gaia, we're hurting Gaia. Um, Gaia is fine. 
guy is just the guy is basically benevolent guy is like you know what i could leave without you guys <laughs> and but i'm i'm kind of I'm I'm doing that loving thing, and I'm trying to um, uh, this time trying to do it with you still here. Um, and the, the ones that live in the center of the earth, mm-hmm. they're okay. They're going with Gaia. Gaia is not getting rid of them. Although Gaia's gotten, I hate to use that terminology. Um, Gaia has Gaia has transformed to different levels uh, over what we would say what we would call time mm-hmm. um, and uh, uh, and and she's done it before without um, and and those in the center what we would call the center because it's not really the center they're like all throughout Gaia mm-hmm. um, those throughout Gaia and those on top of Gaia um, or on the surface of Gaia have not gone uh, with with her during some of the transformations um the ones like in the center and and inside they they've um they've gone with they they've come with her Mm -hmm. before Mm -hmm. um the ones on the surface have never come with her before so this time she's saying okay i'm gonna we're all well i'm i'm going to i'm not gonna i'm not gonna choose to go without you Right. Mm-hmm. Which means yeah. there won't be anything catastrophic on the surface? No, that doesn't mean that. What does that mean? It just, it means that, um, that, uh, what is it, how do I say it? Um, she, how do you put it in these terms? She's, she's, uh, she's morphing. She's morphing. Mm. Uh-huh. And, um, uh, and in that, morphing um uh like she will not be the the same right she won't mm-hmm. be the same okay um and she's uh instead of like yeah instead of like some catast- what we would call catastrophic thing happening and none of us go mm-hmm. she's like okay you, i'm i'm going to um uh, how do I say it? The environment's created so you, we can go, mm-hmm. but if we choose not to go, we're not going. Mm-hmm. Right? So, so it's not that everybody goes, right? Some go, some not. And, uh, but there will be this other version that, um, that, like, there's going to be like two versions of Gaia. Mm-hmm. Tell me about those two versions. So there's going to be the version of Gaia that's like it is now. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to be the version of Gaia that um, is not not like that other place that I said was really tranquil. Like everything was tranquil and not going to be quite like that, but it's moving towards that. Mm-hmm. So with every morph, it moves more towards that. Um, so... Uh, yeah, there'll be catastrophic things because we, whether we think so or not, we're symbiotic with Gaia. So mm-hmm. some of that stuff, right, we create. Mm-hmm. Um, we meaning, you know, the earthlings, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, but, um, but, but the ground is fertile for us to be able to, just morph with her and that's the best way I can explain Mm -hmm. it now can you see what this morphing process would look like for a human being is it a vibrational thing or a physical thing mental emotional what does the morphing mean um well it's 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 vibrational it's energetic Mm -hmm. but in that inner in that energetic um, morphing uh, the things that we would call physical will will be different mm. for yeah they'll be I'm not sure if they're gonna be different for everybody <laughs> um, but like if you're like in total harmony with mm-hmm. Gaia mm-hmm. let's say yes um, right you your your physical appearance will change um uh like like the dwellings will be different they'll change mm-hmm. things will look different 
Mm-hmm. Again, I don't know if that's for everybody, right? I don't. It almost seems like there's levels. Mm-hmm. Um, but it will. It'll. It'll. Yeah. It'll just. Yeah. It'll be different. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'd like to get back to the part where you volunteered on this council. Mm-hmm. Did you know ahead of time where you were going, as far as a family, as far as the place on Gaia that you would be born? Uh, well, yeah, like, so you, so, all right, so you already knew that if you go, if you go into the surface of Gaia, Mm -hmm. you already know that you're going to forget everything. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of forgetting everything? Uh, it's, it's like, um, hmm, it's like, rebirthing um it's like rebirthing sends a energy to Gaia to help her transform her morph Mm -hmm. um and and the growth right I'll call it growth the growth to back to to remembering right we think it's growth but it's really the remembering Mm mm-hmm um, or the remembrance, um, that remembrance, um, that, uh, uh, sends more energy to help Gaia morph and transform. Hmm. Um, and, and the rediscovering of who, who one really is and who, uh, and who and what the all that ever is 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 uh, is amazing. Mm-hmm. So it's like this. Um, it's like a. It's it's like a dance. It's like this dance helping Gaia morph and um, uh, like allowing uh, like this light to be more brilliant mm-hmm so in the discovery the energy builds up or there's more excitement or um, what is it that the it, remembering does yeah like um like like this the energy um it's like it shoots all over like um like rays it's like rays Mm -hmm. and the rays um are are like like they they extend and they extend uh, i'm gonna say like further and further Mm -hmm. and it's it's almost like um you ever see like on adam uh, there was a show called animal kingdom Mm -hmm. and like in the wilderness, there'd be some noise, and you'd see the animals like their heads would pop up and look. Mm-hmm. It's like as as this these, this ray extends, it like reverberates beyond infinity, and things are um, they notice, and then in the noticing, there's like this exchange of wonderful. There's an exchange of this amazing, man, it's not even what we call love. I don't know what you call it. It's just amazing. <laughs> um, I guess we would call it kind of like love, mm-hmm. but there's like, it's like you hear it, you, you, or you, you, you feel it, and then everything raise. Mm-hmm. So as each person remembers and wakes up, yeah. it sends out all of these rays? Yeah, like mm-hmm. everywhere. Like, not just in this universe. Like, it's so much more than universes, but for me to explain it, I'll say universes. Mm-hmm. It, like, it reverberates through, like, every all. Mm-hmm. All. Mm-hmm. And... It it extends so it extends and it reverberates and everything 
um, just sits in this amazing, wonderful, loving uh, feeling, mm -hmm. and it and it it just and it moves through what we would call planets. It's just. Mm -hmm. It, it's. I mean, it. It always exists, but it like raises the level of it almost, mm -hmm. yeah. even though it's like infinite. But it raises the level of it. Now, I know the whole universe doesn't revolve around Gaia. Why is it that this is happening from Gaia? Is this well, not happening from other planets? Oh yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It yeah, it is. It's just I got called to, to go help one. Gaia. Right. <laughs> so let's find out a little bit about you as a soul and why you chose to come here at this time because this soul knows it came here to help humanity mm -hmm. but she wants to access that courage to do what it is that she came here to oh, do man. she wants to help feel less fatigued on all of these ideas that are presented to her she wants to know what's the next step so would you explain to the soul what it is that she came here to do. How does she access this courage where she's living life of a human not on that council? She's got to remember the council. Like, there's not even, like that word doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. What word? Courage. Mm -hmm. It just is. Mm -hmm. It's, um, so, so part of it is is not just knowing, but it, being able to um, right. Like, uh, so on Earth, because of the forgetting, right, you mm -hmm. feel very separate. Mm -hmm. But there's no real separation. Like, well, first of all, there's only one, but that's a whole other discussion. Um, but, but right, there's 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 um. A whole another level of understanding. That's a better way to say that. Not mm -hmm. another discussion. It's a whole another level of understanding. Mm -hmm. But um, there feels like all this separateness, and right, those that um, have awakened or are maturing in their awakeness, right? They, there's an understanding that they that we're connected, or there is no separation. But that's one thing to understand it. It's another thing to embody it. Right. Mm -hmm. So once there's this em embodiment of no separation, mm -hmm. right, then there's there's uh, you know there's no need for courage. It just you just do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So so um, part of gaining the courage is to, to 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 sit more in the I'm gonna say understanding, but to, in, to 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 sit in it more to be able to embody that there's no separation. And so you're really just always sitting with yourself. Mm -hmm. So and then and then and and also she has to stop thinking she's um, yeah, she came to help, mm -hmm. but she's not doing for others. She's just doing for herself. Mm. And and par and part of the lesson here is to to I'm going to say love. I'm going to use the word love, love self, mm -hmm. but not not in the iPhone, not in the iPad, not about I, not, not in that way. Mm -hmm. In this this deep loving that knows that in the loving of self, it extends beyond self. So that it's 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 like a it's like a spiral, but it's also like a circular motion. You know, so it spirals out, but it comes back like a boomerang. Mm -hmm. So it all, it just, there's this always this wave, right? Every wave in the ocean goes back to the ocean, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's like that. It's like this massive spreading and it comes back, mm -hmm. massive spreading and then it comes back. So it's, 
so you know the term it's an inside job yes that's where that came from so right? why, why is she getting so fatigued about this oh she's spinning her her wheels and no not about that she, well she's spinning her wheel doing other stuff ah. <laughs> yeah, she's doing other stuff that she's not meant to do now granted she she does understand that she under that's, she understands i understand she understands that um, no matter what she does, mm -hmm. she's supposed to, um, uh, sh you know, uh, work work towards being conscious and being love, mm -hmm. but not the love we think of here. Like we're talking about this, um, these these rays I was talking about. Like, mm -hmm. so she, you know, whether she's staying out the garbage, whether she doesn't matter what she's doing, she knows that's that's um, part of uh, where she's moved where she's supposed to go um but uh she's she's got to get over that it's okay it's okay it's okay self is okay because it's coming from a place that's really not about self hmm. right again i you know I, I chose the words iphone ipad actually she says that iphone ipad because right that's the i but that's the separate i mm -hmm. right in fact in those words the the i is so small mm -hmm. and the next letter is big that right. in itself is shows a separation mm -hmm. right so but we're so we're not talking about from that place we're talking about from the place that not understands just that we're connected but it's again i use the word um uh, uh, that that um, symbiotic, mm -hmm. but it's not like one thing is symbiotic to the other. It's all symbiotic, mm -hmm. and that's like a deeper reflection of being connected, right? It's all a symphony. It's all a symphony. Even that little triangle ding, mm -hmm. that's part of the symphony. So. She, she, it doesn't, um, the, they'll, the people will find her. They will gravitate towards her. She just, she does she, you know, she's worried that she'll sound crazy or she'll, um, that she, you know, won't, um, have a positive impact or as much of an impact that she, you know, she should have or that she'd like to have and and it needs to be perfect. It does it just has to be. She just mm -hmm. has to be. Well, we were talking about that before the session today, weren't we? Mm. Yeah. Now when I put my videos out they're not perfect. Mm. Yeah. 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 So what is that teaching her here today? When something mm. isn't perfect the way wow. you want it to be. So this is weird. Right now, her chest feels a little tight. I don't mm -hmm. know why, mm -hmm. though, or I feel tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. I um, sorry that that distracted me. Mm -hmm. What did what was the whole well the comment? fact that she it doesn't have to be life isn't about being perfect it's just to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Um, Yeah, she, she, um, she's, she's, she's here, but she doesn't seem to want to be here. Yeah, yeah, she's kind of like stuck between. <laughs> yeah, she's between dimensions. Yeah, she? yeah, she's stuck between dimensions. Why is that? Um, so, so she says, so, so when she first came here, right, mm -hmm. she, she was not what, um, what people call an empath. Mm -hmm. Um, but she, she definitely had knowings and and um, used her intuition a lot, right? Mm -hmm. um, as 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 um, benevolent beings and energies, the energies of God, the legions of heaven, whatever you want to call it, because right, they all they all go back to one. Mm -hmm. um, as energies, more and more energies have been made available to Gaia and those that reside in and on Gaia, right? So she's becoming more vibrationally sensitive. So um, 
you know, like like being in lower vibrations is painful, mm-hmm. like like physically painful. Um, and and um, she has yet to. Uh, well, she thinks she has to figure out what she doesn't have to figure out. If she just all she has to do is be. If she's just if she can get to that place where she can just be. Um, everything will so to speak fall into place so because she has not let go of everything yet let mm-hmm. go of everything it's, it's almost like relearning right yeah. relearning right um, another rebirthing so um, so and and she's moving through that process but she you know she's not to the other side yet so once um, once that happens, it'll be okay. But right now, she is kind of stuck between those two dimensions, and it's mm-hmm. and and she knows, right? She there's a part of her that remembers all that tranquility mm-hmm. and not the pain. So that's partly why um, she's stuck between the two. But she also knows she's not going anywhere. Like she knows she's she she will be here for a long time. Mm-hmm. So she understands that. Uh, you know, she has to move towards that process. Of course, she wants it to have happened yesterday, but she um, and it could have happened yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's it, it, um, she just has she um, has to trust. Like her faith has uh, her faith has um, been uh, more activated, mm-hmm. but she but. Like there's not a trust of herself, even though, like because there's parts of her that still feel separate, and those parts she doesn't completely trust, right? So, but if she can just let go, then those parts won't feel separate, and she'll be okay, mm-hmm. and she'll flow. And you know, so like like many, right? She she starts to take on some of the thought patterns of the collective like you know you have to make money you have to do mm-hmm. you have to do uh, uh, cause and effect right cause and effect but you don't have to live in cause and effect you can totally access all the what um you can live in what some people might call spiritual law mm-hmm. you don't have to live in earthly law and then you can just flow in that right that like some in in a, in, a, in one sense that can be considered you know uh, existing in the now so which which we also talked about earlier mm-hmm. so um yeah the, the, so i guess it's a little fear like a little fear like what does that look like because you don't when you don't know what it looks like right sometimes that could be fearful and although she's done a lot of things that you know there was no uh no um uh, path that she ever saw mm-hmm. but you know it's it's a little out of the comfort zone like she wants it but it's a little out of the comfort zone so financially you said that she could be living in a spiritual law mm-hmm. how can you live in a spiritual law and obtain financial abundance well you you actually touched on that earlier <laughs> so <laughs> but it's, we're, we're it's, in the session now yeah yeah <laughs> so it's 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 um, some people call it the flow. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just really, um, it's not just being open, right? There's this term open. Yeah, that's a, that's important. But it's being, it's receiving. And it's not, It's and it goes deeper than being receptive, mm-hmm. right? Being receptive is, is a little step beyond open, but like really allowing the receiving so so that life that we showed Mm -hmm. right yeah that where there was that exchange of love it was a sit it was it was a sitting in the love like there wasn't a a active doing to exchange the love it was just literally sitting in the love. Mm-hmm. And so just by the near the mere nature of sitting in I'm gonna call it the love, there was this uh circular um exchange that wasn't but it wasn't any 
no one was doing I mean the doing was just sitting there right but mm-hmm. but there was no um what we would call active doing mm-hmm. it was just being in it and from that being in it there was this amazing exchange that wasn't just between the two people right so um and there wasn't even a thought of do you trust this you just it just is mm-hmm. right so how can you look at that as far as financial abundance well is it all the same yeah so if you if you're right if there's that like like there's that beyond trust mm-hmm. that um things will things uh, if and and if you're allowing the receiving mm-hmm. right because sometimes things are showing up but if you're not willing to receive if you're like no no no, i can take care of it no mm-hmm. no no um you know not re- not accepting gifts yes right um even the smallest things not accepting help yes. if you know she's a she's a giver right mm-hmm. in this lifetime so she's good at you know, um, giving time, giving her energy, giving her, you know, uh, you know, even financially giving. Yes. Right. But not a good receiver. Mm-hmm. But it's but it's all right. I'm going to go back to that circular motion. Mm-hmm. So you can't um, at some point you can't just it can't go one way. You right? have to receive. Yeah. So when I found the toothbrush in the store mm-hmm. and I acknowledged the fact that that was a gift. Yes. The acknowledging of the little things. Oh yeah. Continues the spiral. Yeah, exactly. And 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 you 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 obtained that well you didn't say, but I'm a I, I know you obtained that toothbrush by the use of what you know, what here is called money. Mm-hmm. All right. So um it doesn't always have to be money. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, right? There's things that just come. Yes. Um, some things are quote unquote found, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and you know, some things are gifts. Some things become available. Some things aren't even physical things, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, you could know, be wisdom could be information. Yeah, and sometimes, and 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 going back to the financial thing, sometimes, uh, hey. You know, you owe this, and we're gonna give you a. We're gonna just take a hundred dollars off, mm-hmm. like out of the out of what, right? What some would call the blue. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. um, uh, but so, I mean, she's she's seen that, and and she's I'll say tasted that, but she she thinks she has to do something to make it happen all the time, and she's a little scared of if she does just. Let it happen. What if, what if this one time it doesn't happen? You know, like she hasn't shaken that yet, which is understandable here on earth. But isn't that standing really in fear and not in trust? Oh, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But you know, there's, uh, like, could you just not be fearful? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but you know, on earth, right. There's this, there's this, um, teaching that, things are incremental mm. and I mean that's an earth thing that no, well not a Gaia thing I'm talking about the the earth construct programming mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. but you don't have to be in that you can just base it look she well wait let me finish she I mean you you don't have to be in that you can say I opt out I opt out <laughs> and then you don't you know and then but so you can do that now in her case right Mm -hmm. she she declared uh last year at some point no more i'm done with the contracts she she declared she knew she could declare it Mm -hmm. and 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 basically deem all contracts completed null and void right Mm -hmm. and 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 she stood in that and then Part of it was like, hmm, has that happened? She mm-hmm. did get confirmation that it happened. So she knows there's no contracts, but even so, so meaning she knows that, um, like any agreements that she made consciously or unconsciously, um, with others or things, um, are, are no longer like, you know, she's, she's free from those contracts. I'll say it that way. But, 
then even in that knowing, you then have to begin operating <laughs> like mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. right? So there might, there's a little muscle memory. Yes. Um, that cause is, 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 um, she is accessing muscle memory in some cases and situations. So she hasn't, compl- she still operates as if there's a contract under some things, and even though there is no contract. Now she hasn't completely said I opt out, but she can do that too. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, when you say you can opt out, if you release that muscle memory, which she's trying, you know, she's working on. Mm-hmm. Um, but if, if you can just get into that vibration, I'll call it vibration because that's a familiar terminology. Yes. Um, she, she uh, you, you don't have to go through a process. It's like, bam. Mm-hmm. But you, 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 again, you just have to faith it. I mean, and I use faith because that, uh, to her, feels stronger than trust. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So do you think that, she now understands. Oh, she understands. <laughs> she, oh, she, she understands. Oh, she wants. She wants you to teach her how to receive yeah. that limitless financial abundance. Yeah, she. You know what? It's it. It's it's like um. There's that that. It's not a game. Uh. Uh. Like when like, like sometimes in management teams they take team building mm-hmm. team building mm-hmm. right. There's that thing where. Hey, if you allow yourself to fall back mm-hmm. and you trust people to catch you, yes, right. And you know, can you really truly fall back with no resistance, mm-hmm. right? That's what she's just got to fall back. So fall back into the universe's arms. Yeah, good, yeah. very good. Just fall back. Now she also says that she's talking about the ascension. Mm-hmm. And all of the things that she's going through, she says she's been able. She knows she has incredible talents and powers, energy that uh, she can help heal other people. Why is it not working with her? Again, um, sometimes she's trying to do, mm-hmm. and sometimes it's. It's just, again. It's just. It just goes back to the same thing, really. I, I use the word being, but it's it's a it's allowing the receiving, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes she's trying to push energy outside of her, ah. right? Mm-hmm. She even went through this whole thing um, where literally she went. So so part of her process was giving energy to the to to humanity like mm-hmm. literally give like like every night practicing giving it yes right and pushing it um so much so that even in her sleep she was like pushing it out know? um and she'd wake up like a couple times she woke up thinking they're stealing my energy no girl you're giving it <laughs> it's you <laughs> so um but again, it's the sitting in the receiving. Mm-hmm. It's the sitting in the receiving. Now she remembers some things. So, so like that sitting in love. Like she has recently, uh, I don't know, in the last six months, started doing something that she calls love bathing, mm-hmm. which is allowing herself to sit and f- and feel the love that is always around her and everything so is this a remembering of that yes so she probably didn't understand that in sitting in the love she was actually putting out that love yes yes Mm. all she actually she was just thinking i'm practicing receiving Mm. but in that receiving it's 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 there is no one-way street Hmm. is this what people are told to meditate um does that put you in a state of receiving oh def meditation definitely does however Right. Some people meditate, right, um, for different reasons. Mm-hmm. The, different and, intentions? Yes, different intentions. Mm-hmm. And um, if you get to a place where even if you are if you have an intention in doing it, but if you just uh, let whatever happens happen, mm-hmm. then that uh, puts you closer to that vibration and can cause... Um, that it, that uh, natural um, effortless exchange of love, that love vibration. I'll call it love. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, however, and sometimes in setting the intention, um, there's there's resistance hmm. because that's not the intention. So the intention is really to just be in meditation, not to have an intention, uh, just to allow yourself to. Well, ultimately, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. ultimately, yes. I mean, you know, right? If you're st if you're still um, right, like like if you really want to truly manifest, mm -hmm. just be, just be. Right, but we're not taught that, right? We're taught, um, we're taught all these outward things mm -hmm. to manifest, right? And then, then they're not good or bad. It's just, it just is, right? We're taught yes. like vision boards. We're taught, mm -hmm. and 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 again, it's not, it's not commentary on. Don't, it's, I'm not saying not to do that. I'm just saying that is one way, but you don't have to even do that. Just be, just be. And definitely meditation helps that. But the other thing which she does know is that prayer is very important, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, there's, there's a, um, so this is, this is, right, this is now more for everyone, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there is a school of thought that, like, there's some people that, um, that re resent and resist prayer, right? Prayer to them brings up, a lot of things related to religion, but that is not what prayer is. Prayer has nothing actually to do with religion, uh, not at all. Prayer just happens to be something that religion uh, took, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and prayer, prayer and meditation are symb. Again, I'm going to go back to the word symbiotic. They work in tandem. They're actually like twin souls, right? Mm -hmm. So you have some people that are like. No prayer, no way. Or I don't know how to pray. Really, it's the, it's, it's very much the same. It, your, your thoughts are prayers, to be honest. Your mm -hmm. words are prayers, right? Mm -hmm. Your words could be spells, but your words can also be prayers, right? It's just a slight shift in intention um, and consciously, right? So, um, but, you know, if you only meditate, not to say you can't get to, um, not saying that, I'm just saying prayer and meditation create that circular, um, effortless flow. And the praying doesn't have to be praying to do anything. It can, it can just be praying to acknowledge, right? Thank you is a prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you is a prayer, right? The acknowledging that, you know, you are powerful, not powerful in a, a power egotistical way, powerful in an amazing, loving, joyous, gratitude way that impacts everything, impacts all, impacts no thing and all things. Right? And mm -hmm. it creates that amazing flow, it creates that boomerang effect right like you mm -hmm. throw a boomerang and and the meditation along with it with prayer right so prayer is amazing the more you open up to it not doing something because you're not really you're, you're you're it's all about you it's mm -hmm. all an inside job so the prayer is it's not to do something outside of you right like oh please give me that car Right. It's 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 really um, op right opening you up to receive the car. Mm. Just using the car as an example, um, and the meditation does the same thing. It allows you to sit in the being of the receiving. Right. So, um, so they work, or or they 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 flow in tandem. Can you get there with just prayer? Yeah. Can you get there with just meditation? Yeah. But man, is a most amazing ride mm -hmm. if you do them both so in her question the teacher how to receive envision the limitless possibilities in every situation would this be what she should be doing well she's got to do prayer and meditation both mm -hmm. um, and and do but not uh, like doing it um, how do I say it? She's recently actually like heard her heart speak, mm -hmm. like like 
as if she was speaking, mm -hmm. right? So instead of from the brain, right, come from the heart, but literally like come from the heart. And um, right, she loves prayer and she knows that her prayers are gifts from Archangel Sandolphon. She mm -hmm. knows that. Um, and um, But she more recently has not been meditating as much. So um, she has to get back in that. And mm -hmm. that will help her to, to trust because Right, she's shown a lot of things in her sleep state as she prays and meditates, right? There's, cause, cause she, she's, she understands now that she doesn't pray for others, she prays with others, mm. right? So when people come to her and say, hey, can you pray for me? She says yes, but she knows she's not praying for them. She's praying with them. She's praying with their, their, you know, multiple me's, higher selves, highest self. <laughs> she, mm -hmm. so that's who she's praying with, right? Yes. Um, and, 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 you know, it's really to, to plant, um, uh, to plant, um, to help create the, the conditions so that, um, the person can move into the vibration of whatever they, whatever would, will help their progress and the progress of others. Cause it's really just not about them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so the more she adds that meditation back and she she allows the prayers to flow not to constrict the prayers right mm -hmm. just to just be in it um and not to like try to do it that's the same thing with like the energy healing don't try to do it just just like allow allow her receiving and then it will automatically um come through her mm -hmm. right that will help her courage because the things things she's shown in her sleep state will now again will now again appear in um, the waking state in that in that flow of the prayer and the meditation mm -hmm. yeah. what is going on in her sleep state she says she's receiving information on sacred geometry where is uh, that coming from well she, it's 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 from um, it's from her triad from the council okay Right, so they're they're just remember, reminding they're they're um, helping her to remember. <clears throat> There's information that has to be passed on to others here, mm -hmm. um, so they're trying to remind her so she can pass on the information. The healing, um, which you know, Alba, isn't just physical healing, mm -hmm. right? There's mm -hmm. there's um, well. You know, she calls them bodies. Um, you know, the physical body, emotional body. She's mm -hmm. even calls it the financial body, um, <laughs> the ethereal body. There's all you know. The, uh, on Earth, you have these layers of what we'll call bodies. So the healing isn't just for uh, physical. Of course, a lot of things um, manifest for people in a physical way. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not. Healing is a, is way beyond, and you and you know that yes. it's way beyond the physical body. Um, so, you know, but she doesn't. Um, she doesn't have to. Yeah, she has to sit in it, mm -hmm. but just again, sit in it and be in it, and and let it. Um, yeah, if, as she receives, it will automatically outflow. Okay, so there's nothing that she can do. She just has to. Sit in it, as you said. Yeah, yeah. It just has to, and 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 again, the so so like, uh, it, she actually forgot to men ask this because she said she was going to ask this, but she forgot. Mm -hmm. She years ago, she was like meditating a lot, meditating a lot, and like just just in it, mm -hmm. and and praying, and you know, she she thought it was just coming from the meditation, but it was the combination of the two. Um, we showed her. Uh, what she would call symbols. Mm -hmm. right? She knew they were, it was some kind of language. She couldn't decipher it. Um, and, you know, she's like, oh man, I want to see those again. Like, what were those? And, and she hasn't. But if she gets back in, so that was shown in her awakened state. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, she was in meditation at the time, but she was awake, right? Now, you know, all those things are shown 
during the sleep state, but if she's praying and meditating, more will flow in the awakened state. Now there are things that are downloaded to her and she's recognizing um, like in real time mm -hmm. when she's talking to other people, um, she realizes uh, that things are being downloaded. I guess you could call that channeling. Mm -hmm. um, and, and she has a better awareness of that now. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's still things that will, will be shown, um, more in that awake, awake, not awakened, awake, mm -hmm. um, state, uh, as, as she moves forward in the, in the prayer and combining it with meditation. In fact, you know, on earth you might, you would call it more powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you had said something about downloading mm -hmm. and where is this downloading coming from? <laughs> you want me to tell all our secrets? <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that before. <laughs> There's many who want to know. Well, you there's been some controversy about these downloads. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Some oh. people are wondering why are we being downloaded? Is this dangerous? What's going on? Oh, here? so what is it? That's We're, funny. Who is downloading it and why? Where is it coming from? Um. Well, ultimately from what some people call source, mm -hmm. some people call God, although some people think of God as like a lower mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. and that there's, there's a supreme creator, prime creator, supreme creator, source, you know, divine limitlessness. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, that's where it comes from. Um, uh, we appear as layers. I'll call it layers, mm -hmm. right? Um, some people resonate with a angels right yes. um some people resonate with fairies some people resonate with rocks right nature yes. right some crystals. people yeah well crystals and then literally nature yes. right some people resonate with with trees like mm -hmm. touch trees and i've actually heard someone say <laughs> uh, i got a tr i got a tree mail which i thought was kind of amusing mm -hmm. when i heard which well shay heard it and i heard it so it was kind of funny mm -hmm. um uh, you know, higher self, right? There's, mm -hmm. there's these, um, they, they appear in this construct as layers. Um, not every, and, and, and also because not everyone is receptive to angels, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Angels, not everyone's receptive to the way certain, um, messages come to them. Yes. So, you know, there's, it, 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 so we, we, um, it appears as different mm -hmm. and right. Some are like, well, okay, hey, there's, there's angels, but there's ascendant masters and mm -hmm. the ascendant masters bring me some things. The angels bring me other things. And Hey, sometimes they work together. So it's just layers on top of layers, but ultimately it's just, uh, if you want to call it source, mm -hmm. right? The only, the only that exists. Mm -hmm. And when it's downloaded to you. When does this happen? Conscious? Sleeping? You mean Shay? When it's downloaded to Shay? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, well, well, sometimes in sleep, mm -hmm. right? We mm -hmm. used to do a lot of work, work on her, <laughs> with her uh, while she was asleep, but, but she's now, um, re receiving downloads. Well, you know what? You're always receiving some, not, no, no, mm -hmm. let me change that. Uh, sometimes you are receiving, everyone receives downloads, right? Sometimes, and, and sometimes that's right. Just your intuition or, Hey, you, you, you knew to go, you, you, you knew to go left instead of go right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, she is getting, and, and sometimes she would have knowings and she didn't know how she knew, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now she like in real time might be talking to someone and saying things she's never said before and never thought before, but she understands that they are being like downloaded right then and there. So is this what called channeling would be? Um, some people might call it channeling. I mean, it doesn't, it's, it, you know, it's not channeling where you're like, you shake your body uh -huh. <laughs> and you suddenly, mm -hmm. you know, look different. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not like that. You're um, connected to the information. It's almost like being connected to the internet. Uh, yeah. Of well, source? um, well, so you bring up the word internet, which mm -hmm. is really like, that takes you back to sacred geometry. Mm -hmm. The net, 
that it, it, has anyone ever thought why they call it the internet? Right. So the net is is um is like uh, an energetic vibration connection of all of the the patterns. I'll call it patterns of perfection. That's really what sacred geometry is, mm -hmm. right? And and in fact, everything that exists are patterns, right? Um, but but now there are um, uh, I'll call it imperfections built into some patterns, right? So th those are not sacred geometric patterns. Mm. Um, so, so that the net, right, existed before the internet. Uh, so, you know, did did the the word internet kind of um, like did it try, you know, to take uh, a little bit from that of sacred geometry? The word, I mean, it is. It connects you all. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're already all connected. Yeah. Um, the the and then when you start thinking on the terms I just described, that changes what one might consider when you think of Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Saying, "Cast, I'm casting out my net." Mm -hmm. Right. Anyway. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, how can she consciously use all of this knowledge, all of this energy, so that she can experience herself in multiple locations? on Earth, this timeline, other timeline. She wants, I think, to do a little bit more traveling. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it goes back to, um, it, it, uh, she needs to meditate. Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, with prayer. Prayer with and meditation. Prayer. Meditation and prayer. Good. Now, she told me that she was able to be um, at the side of a loved one when they passed, when they transitioned. Is there something that Shay does that helps them transition? Yeah, she's just... In that moment... Mm -hmm. There's an allowing, an allowing of the joy, the joy and the acceptance mm -hmm. that flows through her so that others know it's okay. They they can they can leave mm -hmm. that they don't have to um, they don't have to feel like they need to stay for others. Is this a special gift that Shay has? It's one of her many gifts. Mm -hmm. she, that's interesting. She doesn't know that. I guess she knows it now. <laughs> <laughs> what can she do with this gift? Can she help those transition even if she's not there? Oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, well, she knows this, is that her prayers are very powerful. And again, not, not from an ego place. Mm -hmm. the, 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 her prayers are embedded with healing energy. And she is to use her prayers written and speaking. I mean, that's one way she can help humanity. Um, and you know, as as she has just she she already knows this part about you know using prayers to help people, um, but she she has to not be a, like, like you know some people look at prayer like they hear the word prayer and they run for the hills. Mm -hmm. She has to let that go. Just pray. Mm -hmm. And what she doesn't understand is you know she's thinking. You know, hey, even if I write these prayers and people read them, they're helping the people they read. She, she, which is interesting that she doesn't realize this, but they have tentacles. They have webs. You know, they create webs. They have, and they have tentacles. Um, it, 
it goes so fur much further than the person who read it. And what she doesn't realize is, you know, there's there's prayers that have been around for years that people say, like, you know, the the like the famous one from Francis of Assisi. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't she has not really conceived in her mind that the prayers they will they can touch lots and lots of people just by other people saying them. Like she hasn't even thought, hey, someone might say this prayer to somebody else. She hasn't thought that. Should she be writing these down and publishing them? Yes, without doubt. Good. Can you assist with that, please, or have a guide? Or archangels help her develop this book of prayer so that she can further this web this yeah. net. And it's not one book. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, yes. We, we, again, it goes back to courage, but I, you know, she, she went through, she went through a time where she was like, I have to be the meditation, which is cool, but you also got to do the meditation. <laughs> so at least right now. So has, she has to do the books. Yeah. And I'm sure there it. are many that would definitely buy them. She has, to, she, it, and it's okay. She doesn't have to be, just do them and let them do what they do. The people will. The people that are to see them and experience them will see them and experience them. Wonderful. How are those loved ones that passed away, how are they doing? Valerie, Judy, her mom? They're... Well, Valerie's wonderful. She mm -hmm. already showed up. Mm-hmm. In your mention of butterflies, mm -hmm. that's how she's been showing herself to is that, Shay. Is that why Shay smiled when she it, saw the butterflies? Yeah, mm -hmm. because she's come to know that that's how Val shows herself. Mm -hmm. That shows that she's um, okay and she's here. What so, is, what does Val have to say to her today? Well, one, she's happy as all get out. Mm -hmm. um, that. Uh, Shay has all the support. She, you know, sometimes Shay feels like she has no support mm -hmm. around her, and that people don't understand her. Um, there's a lot of people that people, you know, that don't think people understand them. But there's a lot of people that understand, and not just that. She has so much support that is not physical, mm -hmm. like, like I'm, you know. Like a like a tsunami, like a mm -hmm. huge mountain. Um, Who are these that support her? Are these guides, angels? Uh, there's guides. There's mm -hmm. you know uh, from the council. Um, there's angels. Um, there's even some fairies, which <laughs> which she never even used to mention the word fairies, but there's some fairies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just, so I'm, so I'm sure this this is standing room only today. Oh my God! Do you know how many entities or essences are in this room? <laughs> you, no, seriously. Like, I have no idea. I, so you don't feel it, Alba? Oh, I <laughs> I can't count them. I know uh, there's you, always you, there. you feel it. You're, you're toying with you're toying with us. Of um, course. Oh my goodness! I, I'll give, I give him a high five after <laughs> everybody leaves. Uh, yeah, there is like, and you know, it's not. <laughs> so it's it's um, ones that she would not consciously re like like recognize or have any memories of. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just because it's not even ones that she's been in their presence. It's just because it's because of that connectivity, mm -hmm. right? So there's um, what some might call aliens, galactics, you know, it's funny when she has, asks about the, when she, sometimes she asks the angels about the galactics and they just say, there's just one, why are you asking us that question? Right. So, but point being is that anything and everything that uh, one would consider of the light mm -hmm. is represented here today. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for creating the forum for her to quote unquote find, mm -hmm. really to find her, um, as well as others. Uh, there's, it's just, it's an amazing time. And if she and others, um, 
just follow the breadcrumbs they've already left for themselves, mm -hmm. they'll be okay. Great. So how is mom? Mom is good. Any mom. message? That they've been together for um, eons. Mm. Uh, Shay's old, old soul, old soul, man. Been around for a long time. That's why she's not leaving this earth anytime soon. Um, <laughs> just been around like, like, wow, mm. like a long time. And so she's been with mom for many mm -hmm. eons. And there's just, again, that love, just, mm -hmm. just love. Have they been on Gaia or they've been elsewhere? No, not on Gaia. Everywhere else? Yeah, uh, yeah, other places. Okay. Yeah. Good. She hasn't been everywhere yet. <laughs> She's been a lot of places, but not everywhere. What you would call places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like my traveling around the world. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I haven't you, been there yet. You, you're going to get there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have a question about um, Shay when she's living different lifetimes. Now we know that we can be living multiple lifetimes right in the moment of now. Mm -hmm. How many different places is she now in different forms? Well, on Gaia alone, so so Gaia has Gaia is in a realm that has multiple timelines, mm -hmm. right? Um, some timelines run con well. Right, let me have uh, the timelines are are um, simultaneous. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say some run concurrently, meaning the trajectory of time is the same. Mm -hmm. And Shay and and Shay's kind of got hip to this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some are not like like so you know we think there's a past and a future it's all mm -hmm. it's just all happening now but in terms of speaking from a timeline perspective some are past timelines some are current timelines but she 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 is in um many timelines some as shay some as not shay hmm. um all these timelines right the vibrations coming from them all help gaia to transform and to morph um uh she's she's also you know shows well she's also in some other dimensions as mm. well um yeah she seems to be want, wanting to be in those dimensions more than here oh well she really ultimately wants to go home mm. where which is where um where you showed her yeah that's okay. really where she wants to go good what about uh, judy how's judy doing judy's great any message from Judy? Um, thank you for, thank you for being with my girls. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you very much. Who is running softly? Shay. Is that her name? That was her name, if, you know, in terms of, all right, so, you know, if you think of past, present. Yes. Um, yeah, that's her. So she... Was this a Native American? Or? Yeah, yeah, Native American. Um, uh, uh, started, I thought they were going to be a hunter, mm -hmm. um, but then ended up being kind of like like the like the life we showed, mm -hmm. um, like uh, being a, a healer, like one might call a medicine man. Okay, um, a healer. And um, and a, a, you know someone that passed on wisdom, yes, passed on um, teachings as well as wisdom. Um, and running softly existed on Gaia as well as in another dimension. Okay, as running softly. Now is she receiving any, or, or is she living some of the aspects of running softly in this lifetime? Oh, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's still, she's still, well, she's just learning that she's a healer. Mm -hmm. She didn't realize that, but I mean, she's always been a healer. So Shay is a healer. Um, and, uh, and yeah, there's wisdom that comes through her that she doesn't even know. You know, sometimes she, she doesn't even, she doesn't have a clue. She doesn't have a clue sometimes, um, the impact, you know, she like, like all of us, right? Yeah. We don't realize the impact we have on, uh, a lot of people, especially when we're not actively trying to have an impact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, how, what could she do with these healing powers in this lifetime? Um, yeah, she needs to. She needs to 
She needs to get out of the house. <laughs> well, a lot of these light workers don't like leaving their house. <laughs> she needs to get out of the house. Um, yeah, she just need she, you know, she's, I mean, she's helped, um, you know, people in a comfort, you know, from a comfort zone perspective, you know, yeah. just, just as friends, she just needs to, um, yeah, she needs to, um, she needs to, a friend of hers has been telling her about the book, uh, A Year of Yes, I think mm -hmm. is what it's mm -hmm. called. Yes. She needs to say yes. Mm. And, and she needs to, um, she needs to say yes. And she needs the things that really ignite her. She just needs to say, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. It doesn't matter how, if I know how I'm going to do it. I'm just, just go just, for it. Yeah. Just say, I'm going to do it. Mm. And then, then the synchronicity will occur. Isn't that the same case for most of the light workers that are here? Without a doubt. And you know, so Shay more recently has been, well, she actually does not call herself a light worker. She calls herself a light revealer. <laughs> uh, but, and, and she recently heard the word light leader, mm -hmm. which she liked. She mm -hmm. liked that word. Um, but yeah, you know, without a doubt, like, you know, I think, I think the things, uh, in terms of, you know, one foot here and one foot not here, mm -hmm. Uh, is is not a thing, right? That's that's English talk. That's mm -hmm. uh, um, many people that chose to come here mm -hmm. to assist feel that way. Mm -hmm. um, they they want to go home or go to the next <laughs> destination. Yeah. So, um, but. <sighs> um, there's no real finish line, but the quickest way to get to the finish line is to really be here, mm -hmm. to, to be here, to, to, um, and seek, seek what lights, mm -hmm. what lights them up. Like, yeah. you know, so many, what Shay is feeling and going through is not different from many, right? There's, there's this, um, you know, you know, how do I live on earth? How do I, you know, do the things that are, that we think are required, right? People mm -hmm. think are required to do here, to survive, to live. And, oh my goodness, look at all the disparity. And sometimes sitting in that disparity, like, um, it, not to ignore the disparity, but really, like, not to fight the disparity, to really, you, everything's got to be loved up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the loving is where the healing occurs. So not to say, you know, you don't, you know, you don't, you, you know, open up to be aware so you know what's going on. Um, but in the healing, the, the healing process, there has to be a bed of love. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the fertilizer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So get herself out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To get herself out there and not be worried what anyone says or thinks <laughs> like she 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 is actually which she's happy about and we're super excited we're like yay she's gonna be she's gonna speak at um mm -hmm. at uh um uh, she's gonna speak and it's at something and the title has the word psychic in it which at first she was like oh man you know people feel, some people not everyone right there's a there's a whole community that loves that word and she's you know, she, sometimes she forgets that there's a lot of people that don't know, that haven't, that have like awakened, but went back to sleep. She forgets like, cause she, she, um, immerses herself in so much of the information and, and the people that are, um, more actively in the light and staying in the light. So she forgets that there's so many people that, um, want to move towards that but don't even have a clue how to or where to go. Mm -hmm. um, so she is needed, like like all of the light workers are needed. Mm -hmm. And um, but and and even though she sits in that totally ex you know accepting um, virtual community, she she still feels a certain way about certain words. Yeah, right. Yeah, but it's really going beyond and, and meeting your fear. Oh yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Someone, so someone said to her recent, well not recent, well yeah, someone said to her recently, um, when are you going to start a congregation? <laughs> she had so much resistance to that word, yeah. right? Because congregation meant her meant, 
you know, like ministry, you know, uh, religion, religion. Mm -hmm. That's not what it means. Mm -hmm. I seem to have a congregation just on my YouTube channel. You sure do, <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt. And that doesn't, and that's not right. We're classic religion, mm -hmm. right? And 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 the thing too that people forget, and Shay forgets, there's not even in the things we quote unquote call bad. Mm -hmm. There's not all bad. There's mm -hmm. not. It's you know. It well, there really is no good or bad, but. In on earth, even within that, right? Even in the constructs of religion, there's still truth. Of course. Right? Mm -hmm. There's truth in even the things that we've been told are um, like voodoo, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Right? I, there's things that we've been taught on this earth, right? To be scared of, that they're bad and they're scared. And some of those things have so much light mm -hmm. and so much truth in them and you've been taught to be scared so you won't find that truth <laughs> well many people are afraid just to have a hypnosis session well without a doubt mm -hmm. and there's no reason to be afraid there's it's just love here there's so much love in this room and, and i use again i use the word love because that's a word people can yeah. relate to and we're not talking about earthly love in this room we're mm -hmm. talking about blow your socks <laughs> off your hair is flowing in the wind peppermint patty love that's what we're talking about <laughs> fantastic now would you do a body scan let's see how her body is doing we had mm -hmm. talked about her chest something she says something is uh, going on with her teeth, her eyes, her stomach, her gut. What's going on with her? Yeah, let's see. So, uh, her 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 tooth. Mm -hmm. Like she wants to heal it. Well, she wants to heal everything herself. Yes. Because right? mm -hmm. um, she does know the body can heal itself. Is this an experience she needs to go through? Um. Yeah. The the she's really okay. She's all right. Um. The, the two, you know, she was like, you know, the tooth, um, it's really not even about the tooth. It's about, it, it's really about, um, allowing, um, right. She thinks she can't afford to fix the tooth, mm. right? And so it's not about the tooth. It's about giving up the money. <laughs> it's, a, it's not about giving up the money. It's about allowing the. It's a, it's about the flow of um, abundance. That's the what flow the, of the, abundance. Yeah, that's what the tooth is about. Okay. Um, the the little like ball knot in her like uh, stomach area. Yes. Um. Uh. So like like um. Those on earth that are uh, um, open to and aware of the, the, the um, uh, some call it the new earth, the happenings of the new earth, yes. um, that, you know, they're, you're changing. Your bodies are changing. Mm -hmm. Everyone's bodies are. Yes. They're changing. I feel sensations all the time. Yes. Strange things. Yes. And our, the, our, the DNA, your DNA is. Um, it's not just the, 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 the number of chromosomes you've been told. Mm. Um, they are, they are, um, they like Gaia are morphing, right? You are mm -hmm. changing and, um, and, uh, that ball is kind of like for, at least with her, like, like, um, the, the, the stuff that's no longer needed, mm -hmm. um, hasn't actually completely left her and it's kind of in that ball. Mm -hmm. Can she dissolve that ball today? Uh, oh yeah. All right. What would we like to use to dissolve that ball? Is there a light? Hmm. Let's use a light that's a mix. I know this is going to sound a little odd, but we're going to use a light that is a mixture of red because people always talk about white light. We're going to use a mixture of like a, a light red, mm -hmm. orange, and brown color. And the reason we're doing that mm -hmm. is because it kind of represents that, uh, what she was calling like that sunset. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So we're going to use that. Uh, and we're going to allow it to engulf that ball. She thinks she needs it, 
So she's got to release it. She's mm-hmm. got to release. She thinks it can't be done today. <laughs> <laughs> so she's the one holding it back. Yes. <laughs> so what can it be done in her in her mind? And this is why, right, she thinks she can't heal immediately. Mm. It's her belief system? Yeah, she's got to let that go. All right. Is it? Well, we have a whole room full of an audience waiting to see herself do this. I'm sure they're all cheering her on. So she's asking, because she also digs the angels, Mm -hmm. she's asking for assistance from like, uh, uh, like Archangel Michael. Can we get Archangel Michael and Raphael the healer to work on this? Mm. Let's ask Archangel Michael to pierce that ball with his blue flame sword. And as she dissolves it, allow the green light from Archangel Raphael to help with the dissolving of it and the absorption. And how does it look now? Looks does like a pea. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Why does she need to have that little pea? Mm-hmm. She doesn't. Mm-hmm. She likes little souvenirs. <laughs> um, yeah, she's just afraid. That's mm-hmm. so, yeah, she's afraid. But it's okay. You can let it go all the way. Let it go. Just let it go. Just have it dissolve into nothing. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And let me know when you're done. It's done. Good. Thank you. What about her eyesight? She has cataracts. Yeah. The the beginnings of cataracts. Mm -hmm. Um, So they're not... uh, progressing but we can we can that can be healed she has to do some other things though um too like Mm -hmm. we can heal them but so that they don't come back she has to uh what's the origin of it what she's what's correct what's uh making these cataracts form uh well of course a belief system Mm -hmm. but uh also um uh, yeah, you know, she ca- says she's not a seer, mm-hmm. so she's causing herself not to see. Ah. Um, also, she knows she can see from beyond her eyes, mm. but she doesn't need to, to um, you know, she doesn't need, need to make that what you guys call a reality. Mm-hmm. Um, so she needs, uh, you know, she needs to begin speaking um you know a firmly that she she is a seer right because yes. you can and, and the, the, even your uh quote unquote un, not the natural intuitive abilities mm-hmm. can be um heightened yes so she needs to to affirm and declare that she is a seer mm-hmm. um and uh the, the other things will come to help her maintain that that, uh, that eye health. 
Good. What about the rest of her body? She wants to be able to reverse any dormant conditions or any anything that's happening. Do you see anything else? Um, she's pretty okay. The only thing is that um, there are there's there is a little clogging of arteries. Mm -hmm. I mean, not anything um, that you know. She's not gonna have a heart attack or anything. But um, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna flush that with, and we are gonna use white light this time to Good. flush that. Good. Um, and sh we ask that she continue um, in her her uh, meditation and prayer mm -hmm. to bless her body from the top of her head to the tip of her toes, to um, to envision sacred geometry moving throughout her body not just in the cells, but between the cells, beyond the cells, um, those form, those, those, uh, and, and which may be helpful to others. They can be, um, a lot of people, triangles, is, that's an easy thing, right? People know what pyramids mm -hmm. look like. Yes. They can envision pyramids moving throughout their body and, in, in, um, uh, the, the easiest way is a circular motion, but it doesn't have to just be circular. It could be like, like literally like how you, uh, how you take off a shirt and it goes inside out yes like inver inverting it like and in, like making it go inside out um we're gonna use some other because uh, since she's she's resonating with sacred geometry we're going to move that through her body as well we're going to move that like ro rotor rooter mm -hmm. through the arteries through some of the capillaries through some of the veins and as she continues to bless herself and know that she can she is not only is she a healer we're all healers, right? Mm -hmm. But yes. but it's it's creating the environment, creating the the love environment, um, so that the body can do what the body can do. Great. Now I think I've asked a lot of uh, most of her questions that she's given me today. Is there anything that I haven't answered today that more information you'd like to give her? <sighs> Uh, I'm going to reiterate, let go of the resisting, mm -hmm. sit more in the allowing, receiving, and be thankful for everything, 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 anything and everything. Just mm -hmm. be thankful. Uh, more and more people will be coming to her she mm -hmm. will be introduced to more and more people mm -hmm. um, and also uh, yeah so so welcome all those and in terms of getting out of the house one thing that uh, we would advise her to actively do um, is to not I mean not to go crazy but to, <laughs> in terms of doing too much right because she's somewhat of a perfectionist so can mm -hmm. do too much um, but to to be aware to 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 um, kind of seeking by being aware mm -hmm. of a community of um, we're going to use the word elders, meaning they don't have to actually, but not, they don't have to be older. Soul type. Yes. Mm -hmm. Old um, souls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, the, she needs, uh, it will be helpful for her to be aware of those um, that in essence will be the council on earth. Mm -hmm. She's, she's part of the, she has she has she she's she's resisting right now mm -hmm. so um she's to sit on a council this is not and and she she resists some of that because it feel it it doesn't feel this way to her but um she's been taught that things like that sound egotistical uh -huh. sound like she's putting you know she's making more of herself than she is and really she plays down herself so much mm -hmm. she's 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 supposed to be on the council. Good. So she needs to um, not hide from that. She needs to embrace that. And you can embrace that and be, and she can still be humble. She can be who she is. Um, not trying to put herself on a pedestal. But what, what we mean by that is um, 
there's more that will feed her and will help her to not resist if she's in the company of those old wise mm-hmm. souls. Good. Very good. Wonderful. Now, who is it that I am speaking with? <laughs> <laughs> Name? Mm-hmm. Name rank serial number? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She likes numbers. <laughs> um, the the uh, <laughs> She does like numbers and she associates with the number three. Mm-hmm. Uh, three and nine. Three and nine. Um, yeah. I am Josep. Mm-hmm. And what kind of role do you have, Josep, in, in her life? Well, I'm her. Okay. I'm her. So, would you be considered her higher self? Uh, yeah. Again, there's Oversoul. Well, yeah, yeah. You can uh, not really resonate with the name Oversoul, but um, uh, so I am the 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 soul at the depths. Mm, okay. Good. And she's a Scorpio, so she will resonate with that, right? Good. Depths of the water. That's Depths why the fountain the and the waterfall. That's right. Yeah. Do you have any message for humanity? Well, really, this entire message yes, is for humanity, been. right? Right, right. Uh, the the what well, is a big message for those that will, that may not come to hear the message <laughs> but we're going to put it out there because the vibration right it yes. touches everyone mm-hmm. so despite the way things look and and feel mm-hmm. right because there's a lot of low vibrating energy uh on the surface and near the surface of gaia and not just the not just on the surface but i'll call it the atmosphere of the surface right if you go beyond that atmosphere you don't feel that Mm -hmm. um if you go further enough in gaia you feel it Mm -hmm. um uh but it is it is um it is coming to an end Mm -hmm. uh now those of you on earth wanted to well let me actually i'm going to change what i'm saying i'm going to express it in a different way it's already ended Mm -hmm. it just has yet to manifest in your physical world, but it's already done, right? Mm-hmm. The Bible has a has a. There's a quote in the Bible that says uh, in something along the lines of "Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen." Mm-hmm. Right. So, in the manifestation, there's so light workers. Part of your mission is to grow the faith. It's not just about vibration. Um, it is, I mean, faith is a vibration, but, and, and, and if you feel more comfortable with trust, because faith, you have a, you have an issue with the word mm-hmm. faith. It is now time to, um, to let go of the attachment to some words and to, delve deeper into the truth of those words so that you can go deeper in uh in i'll i'll say trusting but in the faithing because right a lot of light workers are saying why hasn't it happened we're tired oh man we're tired it hasn't happened yet we're trying to make this happen is it really ever going to happen it's already happened (laughs) so now it's a matter of just hey you know what it's already happened in our uh, loving ourselves will help to expand our own consciousness and as we do that inner work not just that outer work but really that inner work and not the inner work you think you have to do it's really um, it's really getting comfortable with truth getting comfortable with truth right and not bits of truth right just with truth and more and more truth will unfold. And as that unfolds, more and more will manifest in the physical. And yes, there is a collective that is vibrating in a certain way. But the more, right, it's not just the outward work anymore. And it's not just the inner work the way you see it. If you're just meditating, please add prayer. If you're just praying, please add meditation. Please allow those things to work in tandem and see that everything you do, everything you think, everything you be, Right. Think of it in that circular motion. Right. And 
think of it as the wave in the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. I think Eric Butterworth, I think it was Eric Butterworth said that God is in you like water is in a wave. Get comfortable with the word God. It's okay, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to use it, but be okay with it. Heck, you can call it tiddlywinks, all right? So in that, in that, that, that being, your vibration will extend, extend and expand a thousandfold and, and it will have even more of a, we'll call positive impact on many. And as you continue to do this, not only will you quote unquote ascend, but you will help more of those that are stuck in that lower vibration, uh, remove their feet from the quicksand, remove their feet from the mud and the muck, and they too will elevate. And you will also help Gaia do what it's going to do anyway. It's just, Gaia could, Gaia could be gone, right? She's waiting for y'all, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's the bottom line. And she's doing this out of love, right? And you're getting a lot of help. You already know that, right? So um, not only continue to do what you do, but just up-level it in the ways that I discussed. Wonderful. Thank you. Joseph, I'd love to work with you again. Ah, huh, yeah, this is fun. Alba, you are kind of cool. <laughs> um, uh, no, to be honest, this is, this is, Shay, even in her resistance, is, is excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. We're excited. Every entity, essence, uh, in this room is excited. You would not believe how much, um, how, there's so many, I'm going to call them beings just to be simplify things. There's so many beings hovering over this, this hotel right now. <laughs> you, th they're standing room only in the hallway. It's like, it's like, this is the premier event. This is bigger than the Super Bowl. Okay. <laughs> like, no, like seriously, this is reverberating. Like there's, there's, there's galactics in there. There are little flying machines up there. Like this kind of cool right now. We're broadcasting into this. So Alba, this is, yeah, we're all having fun. Wonderful. We know you're having fun too. Do you have any uh, advice for me? Uh, yeah. So, uh, since you asked, or Shay asked, I guess. <laughs> since Shay asked. Yeah, since Shay asked, um, cause that's, you're right, she's a giver. Mm hmm So, um, you, you, uh, yeah, you honor what you already know in terms of where you should travel and where you should not. Mm hmm Which you already know. Yes. And it's okay. You can just release everything will be all right. Everything, everyone, right? Even if there's a little upset, they'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And and affirm uh, what some will call divine order or divine timing. It will happen when it's supposed to happen. They're not even supposed to get the messages they're supposed. To, they think they're supposed to get anyway. Right now, mm -hmm. they'll get them when it's ripe. The videos have done wonders, but it's time for you to to um, uh, help those that uh, they they, they want to do more, you can extend through them. Uh, as you teach more and more people and they go out and service, uh, that, you know, that term, term service is a popular term, mm -hmm. um, uh, themselves and others through the teachings that you can provide, not just what you've learned, but what is being downloaded to you. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and just, uh, Allow that to unfold, please. We're 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 cheering you on too. You know that we shoot you. You get lifted up on shoulders a lot of times. So, uh, and in your family, everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. Everything will be all right. Well, that's the hesitation right now. I know that the uh, the gut has been very very uh, disturbed because of all the traveling and the situation at home. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right, though. I mean, yeah. so 
yeah, the human self feels emotion and that's okay. Allow yourself allow yourself to sit in that emotion now, but it's okay. Like you you may it may feel uncomfortable, but it will help you to I mean, don't you don't have to um you don't have to make it persist, but allow yourself to feel it. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to push it away. So is there anything else that you would like to discuss today? Or do you think we're complete for the moment? Oh, man, we're complete. This felt good. At this, at this time around, right? Yeah. Very let's good. do this. Let, let's, let's ride this rodeo again. I guess I'm going to have to come back up here to my hometown yeah. and, uh, and visit Shay again. Uh, well, Shay would love that. Um, uh, Shay would love that. In fact, I'm going to ask this for Shay. Mm-hmm. Um, she wasn't thinking this, but I'm going to ask her. So she, she's starting a podcast mm-hmm. and it's basically just conversations. Um, you know, uh, uh, high vibrational conversations. So not interviews, but, um, just, uh, discussion. So, uh, like, like for example, maybe discussion of um, of uh, what does higher self mean to you? What what um, you know? What the evolution versus revolution, or do they work in tandem? Or you know? Th- and she's calling it spirit speak. Mm-hmm. And if you might consider, if not now, sometime in the future, maybe just having a conversation sounds and having it recorded. Sounds good to me. So. Very good. And so it is. Are we complete now? Uh, can I pray? Absolutely. Mm. So all those in session here and, and now, we raise the proverbial glasses of love up high, the goblets of divine sweet abundance. And we are so grateful for this time that we've shared together. So grateful for this amazing heightened vibration. And we see these two individuals going forth in a loving way to do all that they need to do and to receive all that they need to receive and simply be the lights that they came here to be. We know that they know who they are and we celebrate them as well as celebrating Gaia and all of life. Thank you for this time of sharing. Thank you for this time of complete bliss. We recognize this in each and every way. And we end it with some simple words. And so it is. Thank you very much. Man, that was wild. What a ride you had. Oh, man, my arms feel mm-hmm. very stiff. Yeah, let's switch them. Switch them up. Oh, and my hands <laughs> ne- that never get sweaty feel sweaty. Yeah, there you go. With some Is that common? Shungite. Shungite. Oh, man. Yeah, I've seen that once in a while. <laughs> Is the stiffness too? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes stiffness, sometimes well, other things, but yeah. So, what, what do you think about this session? A little bit more intense than you thought? Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I don't even have the words right now. Um, mm-hmm. uh, a very vocal, higher self. Yeah. How did you feel? Um, like sensation wise, yeah. Um, I couldn't feel any. Well, interestingly enough, um, my gums were not sore at all. <laughs> and then in the waking up process, yeah. I felt like the twinging. I mean, it doesn't hurt like yeah, real yeah. pain, but I feel it again. It I didn't something. feel anything. Um, at some point, I. Well, no. You know what? I think it was when I was coming out of it, I felt the tightness in my arms. I don't, I didn't, I, I felt, um, at one point I felt my hands clenching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But other than that, no body sensation. How long do you feel that you were on this journey? Well, in some ways it feels like it was two minutes, but I know, I, re- I well, what remember. Do what do you feel? 
honestly. I, I feel like, like, I don't know, 90 minutes? We're on two hours and 25 minutes. Wow. No, it didn't feel that long. We're on way past what we thought we were going to do. Yeah. yeah it it's felt like 90 time. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. So is this something you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think your higher think... self already published it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow. This was one of those amazing well, amazing. was it amazing for you? It was good for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when your higher self was talking about all the galactics and all the beings and everybody all over the, you know, I'm, I'm envisioning little spaceships <laughs> above the hotel going like, oh, listen to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, um, that was wild. What do you feel physically in your body? Um... Well, my arms, uh, the upper part of my arms feel uh, stiff. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I was... Like, Being tied um, down? Um, or held no, down? that I was... No, I think it was I was resisting. Ah. And, and I, I've heard that before. And Video 181. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think um, yeah. I feel that yeah. in my upper arms. The rest of my body feels good, though. I mean, to me, I, I don't run, but I feel like... And I Energized. feel like I could, yeah, I feel like I can just take off and run it. Like I could, I, I feel like I could run from here to Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I can just run across the water. <laughs> no, I feel good. I'm totally vibrating, you know, yeah. and that happens a lot during these sessions that you feel like, you know, constant vibrating. Mm -hmm. It takes me a while to, to settle down. Does it? Oh, wow. So, That's how cool. did it feel to be in this hypnotic state? Um, well, just totally comfortable. Yeah. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I didn't feel. I didn't feel anything. Like I felt. <laughs> so um, tell everybody how it feels. It it just feels <laughs> felt like I always feel. Um, mm -hmm. Except there were things that I was saying that either I did not know. Yeah. Or that um, I would not say mm -hmm. <laughs> normally. Um, yeah. And um, I mean, a, a lot of a lot of the information has been shown to me. Um, in some way, shape, and form, before mm -hmm. it was just—it was just like completely um, ver verifying it. But then it was going deeper, and mm -hmm. there were some things that I that I've never even thought of, never heard. Um, wow. That past life—that was well. The, 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 the what was interesting about the past life portion is that yeah. the fountain, yes, and the, the the fountain and the waterfall. The waterfall. I've I've seen that before. In, in, in your I, dreams or something? No, when I first started meditating, uh -huh. um, I I had read a visualization one time uh -huh. about like your your place. Yeah, and that was it. And that was my place. I uh -huh. would go behind a door, and that place would appear, and that was my place, and no one, nothing, and no one could come in it. There you go. Um, so uh -huh. that was interesting. But then the like, um, like the the um, they're not the Hulk. That that the, 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 the bodies. The body. That was, I've never, <laughs> ever seen that or thought that. that was, was it kind of like a rock body? Kind of like a rock body, but not, but softer than mm -hmm. rocks, but kind of like, yeah, kind of like a combination of rocks. Yeah. It was, that was, um, but the love, oh my goodness. The, the I think that was the, the point of it, is basking in that energy of love. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I there's no, I don't have words to describe that love. <laughs> it was just, like, I didn't want to leave, actually. When you were, you, well, the fountain itself. <laughs> We've we been here three yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't want to leave there. Like, <laughs> that was, that was, um, mm -hmm. you know, I guess some people might call it a Garden of Eden. Yeah. I mean, it was pure, like, love. Goodness, yeah. love. Yeah. It was just amazing, and and the fact that I can still remember, I I hope I never um, vibrationally forget that. I hope that becomes a muscle memory because yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Well, the more you listen to this recording and you get yourself back into that into that state, I mean, you could put yourself, you could remember. Mm -hmm. That was it was it was pure. there was so much that was discussed, and and the 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 interesting part is that guy has already transformed. We just. We're just waiting to see the manifestation as we all catch up. Yeah, we just we yeah. we we're the one. <laughs> we're the ones behind. Ones, yeah, we're the ones behind. behind. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, without it, that was very interesting. Um, 
and 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 the discussion of the um, different timelines on Gaia mm. that are all helping Gaia yeah. vibrationally but in, in that in return Gaia is helping yes 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 everyone and one thing that was new that I had heard was the sister planet oh that yeah. had sent and out the message I've yes. never heard that I've never right. heard I've never read that never heard never that, never thought that this is the first time I've ever heard that sister planet says hey she needs help because yeah. we've heard before that Gaia has asked for help mm -hmm. Gaia is and basically, with this one saying, no, Guy is fine. She's good. Oh, yeah, Guy is cool. <laughs> well, according, according to the message we just got. <laughs> She's okay. Don't, don't suffer for her anymore. You have to raise your vibration. Yeah, and actually, um, I remember it's, it's something like when we think like we're doing stuff to hurt Gaia. Not that we should continue no, doing it. No, of course not. But that, it's, that she is fine. That was actually interesting too, right? Yeah, because yeah. we talk about, oh, we shouldn't, you know, we got to stop polluting. polluting. Earth. Yes, yes. Yeah, and she's just. We like, should. I mean, that's not right. Oh yeah, yeah. It, you it don't was, you don't trash people's homes when you live in them. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, without a doubt. But to yeah. know, but for me, there was some level of comfort. Yeah. That she's okay, and what was also interesting is that because I don't know if I've heard this before, but that she doesn't need. She's she's she doesn't need us to keep moving forward. I mean she's, that I know. She's but good. She's yeah, good. she's she's actually trying to help us mm -hmm. as opposed yeah. to yeah. yeah. That was, was kind of interesting. It was interesting. Have I, you heard that before? No, this is yeah. you know every one of my sessions is totally different. This is why I have to keep such an open mind because mm -hmm. I don't I, I can't go out there and tell people this is the way it is. Mm -hmm. Because it's not. I, I, I hear different things from different people. There's so many different realities going on yes. that I'm not going to say this is the way it is. Yeah, and and they're happening simultaneously. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, for one reality, for one video, it's this, and the other video is that. But you have to keep an open mind that, hey, everything is a, everything is doable. Everything is, is, is real. Well, and I, I think, you know, that goes back to, right, there's an infinite number of potentialities yeah and probabilities and potentialities and exactly and they're being walked out in some way shape or form exactly. whether we're conscious yeah and aware of them or not yeah so when someone says this is the way it is uh, maybe for them yes okay for them and some people right mm -hmm. right so if your reality is a lot nastier than somebody else's well maybe you need to change to something that's lighter because mm -hmm. It's not all doom and gloom. It's you know, it's whatever your path is, and well, and that wasn't part of the message towards the end, right? To no. the light workers that um, that like a lot of us are tired, yeah. right? And yeah. a lot of us are like, okay, already. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I? Are we gonna send or what? <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> I want to go home. Already. I'm tired. Of this. <laughs> but but part of the message was um, to to, and I don't recall all yeah. the words, but. That um, to modify your own self practice, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that as as you continue to mm -hmm. grow, right? right. It, it, there's this it, there's like this overwhelmingly expect uh, not even exponential, right? It might be logarithmic, um, yeah. you know, expansion. It from affects everybody. Yourself. Yeah, and affects everybody, and and that's what happens to me is that as I put all of these videos out there, all of this information, mm -hmm. it's awakening other people and their awakening. It becomes a domino effect. Oh, it just yeah. goes out and out and out. And, um, you know, I'm here on a journey too. Uh, a lot of the light workers think that, you know, this has always been really easy for me. I'm, mm -hmm. I was the one of the most introverted people I have ever... Really? Oh, <laughs> no one knows about this. <laughs> I was the most introverted kid there was on earth and um, I have had to progress and face all of my fears mm. and a lot of it is you know putting myself out there uh, talking to people meeting people and when I force myself to go out there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not forcing anymore but yeah. when I go out there to new places and see new people I mean this is a total opposite of who I, wow. I came here as so yeah. you know yeah. I am a living proof to myself that when you're here on a mission mm -hmm. you got to do your job yeah yeah you know I'm vibrating like crazy right now so I <laughs> probably the entire hotel all these beings are kind of like applauding right now that I feel my body just went 
<laughs> but they're like, <laughs> well, but, no, thank you for sharing yeah. because yeah. really, I would have never imagined what nobody you ever said. imagined that that you know I was really, really, really the most introverted. I I, I cried every day in class up until the third or fourth grade. Mm. So you know, I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to be in school. I didn't want to, you know, I, I was really, really a basket case when I was a kid. So to be here doing what I'm doing is you know miraculous to me and you know when you talk about the vibrating my yeah. hands um <laughs> i can feel like energy like shooting out of my hands yeah yeah and, and yeah, yeah that's and how i feel like too okay. yeah so we we're going to be getting together again in the future i would love to get together in the future yeah um it, and, and my hair itself's a little funny oh yeah <laughs> mine's 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 a trip too mine is hysterical but I do live in this area. Right now, we are in Secaucus, New Jersey. And and how far do you live from here? I live about an hour south. Yeah. And I grew up in this area. I grew up in New Jersey <laughs> and uh, for all of my teenage years. And uh, so this is my home turf, okay? Notice turf. <laughs> <laughs> the accent was on turf. <laughs> exactly. This was. This is where I grew up. This is not where I prefer to be, but this is where I grew up, and this is where my roots were. So I do know that I do have roots to bring me back here mm -hmm. all the time. So definitely, we will be doing another session. I would love to, to get more information. Session. This and I'm sure everybody out there is applauding, saying yes. Uh, this was. This was, literally like uh awesome times awesome times awesome this yeah. was amazing i know more is going to unfold oh absolutely um, this is just the beginning and and just the fact that your your higher self was saying how many were here um during this event you yeah. know to yeah. be with you yeah. i know that they want an encore so we're going to do that we're going to make that happen Okay, cool. terrific. I'm, 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 I'm on it. And if you want a session with me, you go to albawyman.com. You go to the out of town page, sign up for my newsletter. It'll tell you where I'm going to be traveling to next or when I'm going to open up my calendar in Miami. Right now, I am closed. I have, um, I am taking my own advice from my own higher self, and I'm not extending myself out as much as I did before. Uh, the sessions that I'm doing right now have been. Uh, been scheduled o almost a year ago and um, that overwhelmed me so I am only going to open up my calendar little by little that is a, a you know it keeps me sane it keeps me healthy mind body and soul and so I don't want to be overextending myself at this time so thank you so much for watching watching I hope I get to meet you sometime time soon and really enjoy these videos because I love these sessions they're doing great Great work out there. Can, can I say one yeah, more thing? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm supposed to ask yes. you, would you consider doing another video series where you are just, let's say, channeling information to others? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've already been told that that's what I'm going to be doing is there are certain people where I'm going to be uh, having sessions with, kind of like Gary. Mm-hmm. 81 and 181 and like Geraldine I forgot her numbers and Carol the one who channels Jesus so there are certain people that I have already been told that I'm going to be um, helping to um, just channel their higher self for, for the good of mankind mm -hmm. not for mm -hmm. you know asking questions but basically yes. just asking so I know that that's the route that it's going on mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know and I'm gathering people all around the world that that are going to be helping me with that mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>